and we are back with another nut sack. It's the nut sack attack. All right, all right, all right, Dr. Seuss, shut up. So this is going to be a really, really, really fast video. Um, it's mainly just going to be a update on my nut sack. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know a better way to say that. So it's basically just going to be an update video. Uh, so we all know whenever I did my unboxing for this, um, it had a pop stitch on it. And, uh, you know, we, we saw it in the video. And so I reached out to Matt, who is, uh, you, you know, he's, he's, he's a nutsack guy. <laughs> but no, if you, if you email nutsack or anything, nine times out of 10, you're going to hear back from Matt. Um, so I emailed Matt and I was like, Hey brother, um, you know, and him and I have only ever talked like, a couple times and that was when um we were talking about doing the nutsack affiliate for the channel and uh you know he sent me the bag so he's a super awesome guy these this however i bought with my own money uh and that uh three by four the caddy the leather caddy i also bought that with my own money so um i emailed him and i was like hey man uh just wanted to ask uh you know the the double admin came in it's beautiful it's gorgeous it's everything i was hoping it was going to be had a pop stitch you know what's easier for you uh i can probably you know burn down the stitches maybe re-thread it um definitely not as good as he does <laughs> i was like or should i just go to the website do an exchange you know what's easier for you um i'm not trying to cause any hassle but you know i, I just it's a two hundred dollar bag. I, 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 you know, I just want to make sure it lasts forever, just like the other ones. And that one little pop stitch probably wouldn't have done anything at all. But, you know, I'm a little OCD. So I hear back from Matt the very next morning because when I when I emailed him, it was kind of late. So I hear back from Matt the very next morning, um, and it was very it was very simple what he said. He said something to the effect of, oh no, that is unacceptable tracking info to follow soon. Uh, I had the tracking information by the end of the day. So the very next day after I emailed him, I got a reply, tracking information, and I had a replacement nutsack, double admin within a couple days, like literally within a few days. So, um... If that's any kind of testament to what kind of company Nutsack is, uh, man, I, I'm 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 really blown away. I'm kind of I'm kind of upset with myself that it's taken me so long to buy one. To be honest, um, I, I see them I see them everywhere. You know, it's kind of a it's kind of a trendy thing right now. You know, everybody's making the Nutsack jokes, but let's 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 have a real talk for a second. These products are beautiful. Yes, I am an affiliate. Yes, if you use my links, I make money. I make commission. Blah 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 blah. But let's not even talk about that. Let's let's not even. I won't even put my link down in the port. Well, it's in the. It's going to be in the main body of the description, but I won't even put it underneath in the like you know the little description for the video, because I just want to talk about how good this company is. I, I'm really like really it. it you know, I've worked with so many companies and I, I do a massive amount of online shopping and you know, there, there's not, it doesn't, I don't get surprised or, um, you know, blown away by companies very often. Uh, it just, it just doesn't happen. And, um, you know, I'm a new, a new believer in Nutsack. I'm new to purchasing their products and uh, even as a new customer that doesn't have, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars in my order history, he's still just, you know, taking care of me. And that's just, that's just amazing. It, it really is. Now, if we take a look at my, my nut sacks here that I have on the table, um, something, something cool that I thought would be cool to have in a video. So that's why I, I that's why I decided to do this instead of just a short, um, you can see they're different colors. And I, I don't, I think that really the only option is the ox blood. So this looks more ox blood to me. And this is the new one that got sent in. And um, this one's almost more of a weathered brown. That is 
absolutely not the term. <laughs> that is not the color for this. Uh, here we go. The color police for, you know, leather workers are going to be popping out of the comments. And blah, 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 blah. That's rustic brown. I, I, listen, man, I, I don't know. I, I'm putting this in layman's terms. So, um, you know, they, you can tell, you can tell the hand, hand finished, um, just every, every piece from them is going to look just a little different and the, it's so freaking cool to me. Um, I just, I, I can't, I, I wish Matt, I wish I could stand on the rooftops or mountain and just scream nutsack <laughs> And just have like all the people, all the people raise their hands in the air and just be like, nutsack. So, um, it, it's just, it's just so cool. You know, it's so cool to see an American brand out there, um, that makes premium products that really just cares about their reputation and their customers. I just think that's awesome. We don't see that enough. So, um, just to show we'll, we'll move, we'll move nutsack a off to the side and we'll uh, go ahead and do vasectomy right here. We'll go ahead and get inside this nut sack that he sent me. Oh, I did not mean <laughs> I did not mean to leave Cashola in there. Sorry. Um, so I I'm I'm still playing around with kind of how I like my nut sack. So okay, we're gonna we're gonna stop the nut sack jokes for a second. <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna knock it off. So. Um, this this is kind of my basic loadout right now. I uh, so I've got this is this stays in my hand. It doesn't actually go in my bag. So when I get to work, you know, I take my I take my nutsack, my satchel thirteen. I take it off. I put it on the. Um, it's not an armoire. It's like a. It's like a nice filing cabinet, but it's made out of wood and it has a hutch and stuff. So I put my satchel thirteen up there, and I carry this in my hand. I carry this in my hand and usually I'll stick a planner or my, you know, my planner and my notes, my notepad down in here, my field notes. Um, so I keep a couple pens in here. Uh, these are going to be, you know what? We'll just do, we'll just do a full in depth look at my nut sack. So, um, this is my, uh, bastion fountain pen. Beautiful pen. Been really enjoying that. There's my bastion, um, pen bolt action there we go it's the executive stainless steel pen took me took me a second there's got a lot of products rattling around in my brain of course my magic wallet from mr dan my, my buddy dan i'm not going to pull that out because i was not prepared to open this thing up so it's got my cards on it and i don't know what's viewable and not viewable but i keep my small uh wallet in my pocket and um it's it's my Oh God, uh, Savage Gentleman Copper Wallet. It's it only holds like four cards, and I have a ton of cards. So this thing is great. It fits in the little pocket. Nice. That Magic Wallet is totally epic. I'm. It still blows me away sometimes. I kind of use it as a party trick. I got my Refine EP1L carrying inside of this bag. On the other side, very simple. I've got my Hanks by Hank Hank from the Hank Man. Uh, for Mr. Dan himself, again, <laughs> I carry, I, I tried to tell Dan that I pretty much carry everything he sends me at, at all times. And, uh, that was just a sneak of one of the knives that he sent. I, I mean, he's, I think he knows me better than I know me. Every time he sends me something, I'm like, I need to carry that. Well, I'm already carrying 4,000 knives a day, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, in this side here, of course, you can see we got the Apple Shaojia right there i just like to keep one easy access i've got the airpod pros those are the first gens i've got an iphone charging cable i've got a apple watch charging cable for my apple watch and then uh that's it it's very it's very minimal there's not a you know there's not a ton to it uh this is just meant to be my little grab and go bag so if i'm gonna go somewhere and i don't want to take my entire you know my entire satchel or you know and and so the other thing too uh the reason why i like having this so much what that was weird i heard something like rustling around over to the side um it was over by my bags it's kind of kind of freaky um uh, probably just bags shifting um so i go to uh for my job I'll go to the post office. I had to go to the courthouse the other day. Um, I, I do. I go to a lot of like federal property 
uh, for my job. And I, you know, knowing me and knowing I like knives, I keep a lot of knives in the satchel, the satchel 13. I, I keep fidget knives and stuff in there. There's this stuff. I keep them in there and you know you if you did not know this having a pocket knife a gun anything like that even in the parking lot of a courthouse or a post office it's a felony yep can't do that so um i didn't know that either i had a police officer tell me that i looked it up and i tried to decipher the ordinance or whatever you call it the law and looks and sounds correct but you know where they're like see section 17b of article 37a to find out if statute and it's just like you're just at at some point you're just kind of like yeah i guess (laughs) that's that's, that sounds right so um yeah so when i go to places like that i won't take the whole satchel i'll just grab this off my desk because it has all my essentials in it and that's ready to rock and roll that's what i do so um, this was a nut sack dump <laughs> and oh, I said I was not going to do those anymore. Sorry. Couldn't resist. Um, and just, just a really kind of a hype video for nut sack. Really. They are such a spectacular company. Um, the, uh, the caddy that I got in the order along with, well, not this one, but the other one, um, it's breaking in beautifully. It looks gorgeous. It's just getting better with age. All, everything from them gets better with age. Um, that's that's something to note if you are a copper fan or a brass fan or a bronze fan or what is it um you know any kind of tool steel if you like to see things patina and you know uh i was gonna say mutate evolve over time which is why i gravitate towards copper and leather and stuff like that is because i like that it doesn't stay the same it develops this patina and it ages and it looks beautiful and it's like your carry changes every single day versus you know you buy a titanium a titanium handled knife with a m390 blade it's going to look the same from day one to day 5000 um which is cool too they stay gorgeous but um i like the weathered look and this is like a very gentleman so i i can't wait to see how this thing patinas uh, I let everything I get naturally patina unless it's like a couple things that I did like a, um, you know, my copper stuff that I do like a shipwreck patina on, but that's different. Um, so just gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. And, um, Matt, nut, the nutsack team, you guys are just absolutely amazing. And, uh, I really hope, I really hope that they can kind of crawl to the top. I, I, I feel like people just don't know the brand. And if we could just get some awareness out there, they are just such a good American company. Okay, I'm going to stop shoving nutsack down people's throats. <laughs> it's it, it just just trust me. Just it, you can you in if you go to the website, it also says something like you can email them to ask questions. Do that. Just ask them questions for real. They'll they'll blow you away, I promise. So, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. I rambled forever. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, checking out the channel, watching the video. Greatly appreciate it. If you would, please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that, you know, all that stuff. You know what to do. Thanks again, guys. Catch you on the next one.